Hey, everybody. Yes, Brody, I am crazy. A crazy man. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of the way it shook out this week where I was kind of like... <laughs> where I was kind of like... I just had Friday um, to stream when I didn't have any other days this week, so I'm doing two in a row. Um, it's great. But today, I'm so stoked and sad because it most likely will be the Pokemon Crystal Finale. Um, I'm really excited to get into our little last bit. Um, and uh, ooh, before we start, I do want to show off another shirt. I have my little coat on. My Gojira shirt has like the crying volcano on it, which I think is super awesome. Um, Gojira is a metal band. They're, they are a French metal band, and I love them very, very much. I highly recommend Gojira if you like that kind of music. Um, but we are here. <laughs> How is your baby not water? It is in the PC <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, but, oh, off screen yesterday, I did grind the squad. We are all at level 50. You'll see that Sinaiquil is actually at level 51, and you'll find out why. And really, the main thing that happened was our boy Tech, or our girl Tech, pardon me, finally learned Steel Wing. There it is at the bottom, uh, just in time for the last battle of the game. Um, so, here we are in Viridian City, and when I go to Mount Silver, I like to go this way. So this is a very early route in, you know, the Gen 1 games. And let's just make sure we don't jump over the second ledge after this wild encounter with Doduo. Oh, well, that's very interesting. I did not know that those were here in this game, and at level 4, no less. Um, very interesting. Um, so we're gonna not jump over that ledge, great. And as you can see, we go here, this is how you get to the Pokemon League in Gen 1. And it still is in Gen 2. But here, there was a guard here. When we first got here, that was the original gate, because here is our kind of like victory road route leading up to the Pokemon League. And once we pass the badge test there, this leads to Viridian City, but this final little area takes us to the area where you can get to Mount Silver. Now, um, let's see. <laughs> Red's mom must be worried that, her, that he's on a mountain for two years. Absolutely right. Um, so here, this is the last area of the game. Um, let's swap. Just put Lucius in the front. I'll show you some of the encounters that we can get here. Oh, wild tangle. I love how it, like, <laughs> kind of sucks, sucks itself in there. And these are some of, like, the highest level wild Pokemon that you're going to be able to find in the game. Like, you can find Tangela here. I believe you can find Rapidash here, Arbok. Um, at night, you can find Poliwhirl, which is pretty cool. Wow, we are just only finding Tangelas. Noodle Boy! That's right. So. Ah, see, there's Arbok. And yeah, we have kind of, like, low 40s. So they are slightly above kind of like the Victory Road type um, levels. I'm just going to use that Super Repel now. But, ah, there it is. Check this out. All right. So once we cross over into this area, I was excited for this, and I kind of blew it. <laughs> but you will see, this is where I get my namesake, this little title card that just shows up underneath. Here we go. There it is. Silver Cave. This area, when you fly here, I think we should be able to fly here. It's called, uh, so, well, it's called Silver Cave on the map, but it's kind of, no, it's talked about as Mount Silver, but here on the map, it's called Silver Cave. And that is what I named this channel after. That is what I named my metal band after. Um... And that's just kind of part of the story. So I'm going to pop up here. And here we are, here at the Pokemon Center. There's one little lady here, 
Trainers who seek power climb Mount Silver despite as many dangers. With their trusted Pokemon, they must feel they can go anywhere. Very interesting. Um, let's see. Oh, thinking Arbok was the evolution to, uh, to Saviper? Yes. Saviper is a Pokemon we have not met yet. That's in a later generation. Um, so, right now, I am going to deposit Margo. I'm also going to deposit Lucius, just for now. And you'll see why. Once again. Uh, I am going to withdraw... Not deposit. I am going to withdraw... Ah. I do have to change boxes, because this is really annoying. Okay. Now we can withdraw Draco. There we go. Okay. Oh, am I going to do the remakes, Heart Gold, Soul Silver? Absolutely, I am. I don't know when. Uh, but that's definitely something that's going to happen, because I want to show off, one, uh, the new features that the remakes have, but also, playing Pokemon Crystal... We do miss out on, like, a few little features in Pokemon that are only in, um, gold or silver. So I do want to, I do want to show those off. So here is a house, and we have this woman. I like this little character. Oh dear, you found me. Please don't tell anyone about me. I'll give you this for keeping my secret, please. And she's supposed to be like a movie star. And it's funny that Tech just learned Steel Wing because she gives us the TM for Steel Wing. It's tough being a top celebrity. Everywhere I go, people chase me. I just want to be left alone. That's why she's here in this little house in Mount Silver. And you can kind of imagine she already taught Steel Wing to her beloved Firo there. Which is a neat little thing. And you can only get to that house with Cut. Which is why I picked up my wife. And another reason why I picked up Drago was because we are going to explore Mount Silver here. Mount Silver. We are not going to... Your little sheep, that's right, Brody. We're definitely going to use Mareep on, on a, on the, in the remake. But let's get... We'll get some NyQuil up front. Um, so here is Mount Silver. And we've teased this a lot. It's been a very, very, very poorly kept secret. Um, you battle red at the top of Mount Silver, or, or in the deep dark, or in the deep part of Mount Silver. And red is, of course, the protagonist from the Generation One game. So it's like the final boss, like the super boss of these games, is you from the first game, which is awesome. Um. But before we do that, we are going to explore Mount Silver and kind of pick up all the items. I like to do this first, and that's why we have uh, my wife here to use Flash. Um, so we can kind of go through this in peace. Um, oh, <laughs> that's funny. This is a funny thing to point out. Brody just asked, how did Bellsprout turn into Oddish? Because when you look here, the little symbol for my Bellsprout is an Oddish. And Generation 2, when you go on these, uh, you have these little sprites in the, in the menu here. They only have a certain amount of those sprites. So Bellsprout kind of signifies a lot of different grass Pokemon. Lapras and Gyarados each get their own because they already had one for the red Gyarados and for the surf animation. And, like, that looks nothing like a Heracross. That looks nothing like a Skarmory. But they are just kind of separated in categories like that. That's actually an interesting little tidbit there. Um, so, we're going to pick up just some of the items that are sitting around here in Mount Silver. And... This little area is in the dark. It's funny because I am going to attempt. I actually have... Oh, it does kind of look like Beedrill, Brody. Um... I actually have a little guide uh, pulled up. I am going to try to do Mount Silver in the dark, which I never do. Um, because that way, you don't really want to carry a Pokemon that knows Flash in the battle against Red. Um, it's just not super convenient. Um, so I'll probably sell a few things eventually. Because I'm never going to use that dire yet. Um, but yes, this is the first area. It's just a cool little, like, winding path. I'm just looking at all the boulders. I never remember which ones have items in there. 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> You'd be crazy. I'm looking up a map. <laughs> Thanks, Freddy. <laughs> um, we will attempt Mount Silver in the dark in a, in a little bit. Let me see. I think there's a hidden item down here. Yes, there is. Another Ultra Ball for when we catch our Lugia. Yeah, and sorry about Ho-Oh. I know that there have got to be tons of guides on how to catch Ho-Oh. Um, I just feel like it would take way too much time to try to hunt down Entei and Raikou. Um, so here, this is, a, this is a room in Mount Silver. This is the second room, and there are three. And there are all these waterfalls in here. Now, the waterfall area is... Where am I? <laughs> Very interesting, because you actually don't have to use waterfall in this room. Using waterfall is just how you get to some of these secret items. Um, how you get to some of these... Oh yeah, Brody, I was just kidding. Um, is how you get to some of these secret items... And it just kind of gives the place a, a real personality, this room of Mount Silver. Um, I'm so excited to show this off. This is making me so happy. I've kind of just been anticipating it all game, especially since we got to Kanto. Because um, if we hop up here, there's Ultra Balls everywhere. Um, fun fact, this uh, Mount Silver is the only place in the game where you can catch two very special Pokemon. Um, one is Mistrevis. It is the only ghost-type Pokemon introduced in Generation 2. It is a crime that Morty doesn't have one. <laughs> um, it's a very cool Pokemon. Um, and it's also the place where you can catch Larvitar. Um, Larvitar is like the pseudo-legendary of this game. It's a rock-type. Um, rock and Ground specifically, and it evolves into Tyranitar, one of my favorite Pokemon. Ugh, I can't carry any more items. That's okay. Um, let's just drop this dire hit. I'm never gonna use that. Okay. Pick this up. Um, I'm also glad to see the chat is working this time, JJ. Thank you. Um, yeah, it was just a weird thing that one day just randomly didn't work. But, uh, yes, I thought this was a forest store. Larvitar, such a cool Pokemon. Love it very much. Tyranitar is not a Pokemon that any trainer has in this game, which I think is kind of silly. Um, but it's really, really cool. Um, so, those are all the hidden items in this room. And that leads to the final room of Mount Silver. I just love how the waterfall adds some really cool atmosphere in here. Um, so that's going to be our final room. Let me pop another super repel. But I'm just going to show you, that goes to the final room. You don't have to go onto any of those waterfalls. All they do is go to the um, secret rooms. We can just go right back here. And in fact, I'm just going to kind of speed my way back out because we are going to box uh, Bellsprout and Drago here in a second. But I do want to do one thing before we do our best to fight Red. I want to hop out to Goldenrod City. And this is actually really cool. We're back in Johto. Mount Silver, or Silver Cave, is technically in Johto. And it's like a secret little area off the map that we didn't, hadn't really seen before. Very cool. So what we're going to do, we already have a protein and a calcium. I want to buy a couple more vitamins um, for some of the other members of our team. And specifically for like what they uh, thrive with attack-wise. So Sonyquil will probably give a calcium. We'll probably give Tech a protein, protein, calcium, and then calcium protein. So let's see. One two, three calciums, and three proteins. Perfect. So I will buy two of each. And as you can see, they're extremely expensive. And you know what? I'll buy a Carbos. Oh, I can't carry any more items. Ugh! Okay. That's okay. 
<laughs> time to dr time to drug our Pokemon. <laughs> you are exactly right. See, I'm just kind of trying to to beef up those stats a little bit more um, before <laughs> we fight the final battle. So here we are going to deposit our HM Pokemon for maybe the last time. Um, we have my girl, my wife, Godspeed, special, special lady. Um, so we're going to change back to box one so we can get Lucius and Margo back. Margo, lovely. And of course, we have Lucius. Great. Um, I feel pretty good about our hold items. What I might do, Skarmory has a, um, whatchamacallit, amulet coin, which isn't going to be great against red, so I'm going to give him the quick claw, just so hopefully he can hit first. Great. Um, so now I'm going to give each of our Pokemon these. Um, so one Calcium will go to Sonicwheel to raise that special. One will go to Pampras. And one will go to Lucius. So now we'll use these proteins to raise the attack of our physical attackers. One for Tech. One for Rupert. And one for our special girl, Margo. Still rocking that headbutt. I do have a return TM here, um, which is a normal type move that does more damage the more your Pokemon likes you. And that will be more powerful than headbutt. Um, like... We'll see if we use it. We might not need to use it. I, I kind of want to go in with our set that we've got right now on each Pokemon. But we might have to go back to the drawing board. And then, why don't we pop in out here. Just some nicer music in here. Um, so now, we're finally going to use all these rare candies that we've been saving the whole game. I like to use them at the very end because I feel like I get the most, like, value because it takes, like, more experience to raise your Pokemon. So when they're at a higher level, a rare candy technically is gives you more experience. That's just the way my brain works, I guess. Um, but that is why Sinaquil is at level 51, because I only have five rare candies. I'm going to raise all of our Pokemon to level 51. The candies! Yes, that's right. Um... Rare candies are a beautiful thing. Pampras up to 51. We got Margo up to 51. And finally, Lucius, our special boy. Um, okay. So now... It's getting real, folks. Now we can fly our way back to Silver Cave. Um, and I will say this, I highly encourage everyone to check out, um, Silver Cave's cover of the final battle theme from this game. I covered it a few years ago. I think it's really cool. It's like a heavy metal cover. I called it red to kind of, uh, be indicative of this fight that we're about to have. Um, so if you watch this... Stream Red by Silver Cave. Please. <laughs> um, it is on YouTube, Brody. It's on Spotify. It's on everything. Um, anywhere you listen to music. Um, let's see. Um, so now we're going to do one final team recap. I'm very excited. Um, hopefully it's one final team recap. Hopefully I don't get destroyed. Uh, we'll see. Um, so we have Rupert Grunt. The Heracross with that Black Belt, Strength Reversal, Earthquake, and Rock Smash. We have got Tech, the Skarmory, with a Quick Claw, Fly, Sand Attack, Swift, and Steel Wing. We have got Sinai Quill, the Typhlosion with a Charcoal, Quick Attack, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Mud Slap still. Very fun. Pampras the Lapras with the Mystic Water, Surf, Ice Beam, Parish Song could come in handy, and Body Slam. We have Margo the Dunsparce, one of my favorites, with Leftovers, Rollout, Screech, Glare, and Headbutt. And our special boy, Lucius, with a King's Rock. And the moves Quick Attack, Bite, Psychic, and Shadow Ball. Very cool. So now, <laughs> folks, moment of truth. 
I am going to try to do this in the dark. I've literally never done this before. I'll pop a save. We'll see what we can do. Oh, crap. <laughs> ah, there's Rapidash. Kind of talked about that. There we go. So let me do this Super Repel before I do this. All right. So we're going to do this together. So it says, go up until you hit the wall. Okay, there's the wall. Go down one step. Go three steps to the right. One, two, three. I maybe already messed it up. Go up until you hit the wall. Okay, I did that. Um, go left until you hit the wall. Okay. Um, go up until you hit the wall. Okay. Right until you hit the wall. Down until you hit the wall. Right. Up. Okay, one step left. Okay. Up. Left. Up. Left. Up. Right, down, one step up, okay, um, right, one step left, okay, and then up. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, internet! Oh, that was wonderful! Um, let's see. <laughs> yes, they should have called it Blind Cave. Oh my goodness. That was wonderful. <laughs> JJ, you would be surprised. There are people who can do that, like, so fast. They have it memorized. Specifically, like, I've seen so many speedrunners do that just on the bike, not even thinking about it. Um, that was so great. <laughs> So now we're finally gonna go to the final room. And we have this kind of like cool gold cavern with this dark abyss. And there, waiting for us, is red. It's us. It's so cool. It's just kind of like the alternate world version of us. Um, okay, so I'm gonna save one more time. We're gonna see how this goes. And Red has a lot of the same Pokemon that the player character would have if they played Yellow, honestly. So, whew. moment of truth. Here we go. He says nothing. Oh, it's so epic every time. I love it. I love it. It's, you fight yourself. It's amazing. That's why I think this is one of the best sequels ever, is because of, is because of this final battle. There's so much synergy, and this is like the perfect, mwah, like, cherry on top. Um, let's see. Okay. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. What a speech. Am I right? You're all right. So, Red famously opens with his Pikachu at level 81. Um, as you see, we are 30 levels below. <laughs> um, I'm interested to see what an earthquake's gonna do here. Oh, you love to see a thunder miss right off the bat. That is great. Um, a very good start. Guys, this could go, this could go terribly. It really could. Um, yes. One shot, one shot. That is awesome. Okay, that starts about as good as it can. Um, okay. Oh yeah, Brody's like, and no light ball, so it's uh, so it's bad. Um, light ball is a held item that they made specifically for Pikachu. I don't know if it exists in this gen. I think it exists in Generation Three, and it makes Pikachu more powerful specifically. Okay, about to use Venusaur. So for Venusaur. We probably want to go into tech. 
Um, because Venusaur is just not going to be able to do much to tech. And his Venusaur is level 77. Pikachu is his highest level because they're kind of compensating for the fact that it's just a Pikachu. Um, okay, so his Venusaur likes to use Sunny Day. I don't remember if it knows Synthesis or not. Um, because it likes to fire off those solar beams. And if you have the sun up, solar beam doesn't need to charge, which is very, very good. Um, and fly, it does a decent little chunk. And again, we're going to take some of these solar beams. I don't know how much this is going to do. We do double resist it. Yes, okay. So even though it's at a very much higher level than us, we are looking okay here. Um, I am going to try a strategy. I am going to use a Swift. It would be really nice if the sun wore off this turn. Because what I'm trying to accomplish here... Sunlight faded, that's awesome. Why I use Swift there is hopefully Red doesn't now use a full restore. Because if you knock it into the red, it'll definitely use a full restore. And I think one more fly will do the trick. And it was very important that the sunlight faded there, because now I can fly without getting knocked out. Okay, hopefully this fly can do the trick. It might not. Please do it. Okay. Two down. All right. So now we've got Charizard. Is it time? I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I really, really want to use the rollout strategy, but I just don't think it's gonna work. Um, I'm actually gonna try... Mm, am I gonna try some NyQuil here? Yeah, I will. I'm gonna see if we can use Thunder Punch here. Maybe, yeah, that's right, Brody, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Thunder Punch it, and hopefully we can withstand some flamethrowers. Oh, it used Fire Spin! That's great! Um, fire Spin is a weak fire move. It kind of traps you and does damage as you go, but it's a very weak move. Um, if we can get a Paralysis, that would be impeccable. Um, and Wing Attack is definitely going to hurt a little bit. Oh boy, okay. Paralyze it, please. Please paralyze it. Let's get that clutch paralysis. Ah! <laughs> dang it. That would have been awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to let Sanyquil go down here. Because he doesn't have a ton of utility for the rest of the fight. That's okay. I'm feeling alright about it. Feeling alright. Um, because now we can go into Pampras... Um, because Pampras is part ice, a flamethrower is going to hurt, but at full HP, we should be able to live it, and Charizard should be... Oh my gosh, that's great to see. Oh my gosh, that's great. Um, a surf from this range should kill the Charizard. And it does. Perfect. Um, Charizard and Typhlosion have the same stats in all categories? I did not know that. That's a very interesting bit of information, Brody. So, Pampras having full HP rocks. Espeon, guys, it's time. It's time for my uh, master plan. <laughs> I'm going to use my Bite Shadow Ball combo, baby. Um, and we'll see what it does. Even though I'm pretty sure my Espeon will only be able to resist one, maybe two Psychics. No special drop? Okay, good. <laughs> Godspeed. <laughs> Thanks, JJ. Uh, I, you know what, Brody? I'm going to try the Shadow Ball. We'll see what the Shadow Ball does. Um, live it, live it, live it. No critical hit. Okay, great. Lovely. Oh, wow, that actually did more damage. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Hyper Potion because I want this strategy to work. <laughs> and if I can resist this Psychic without a defense drop... 
Dang it. Ah, okay. Um, I might just let Lucius get knocked out here. Um, if I really need to, I can always revive Lucius. Ah, that's stupid. That's okay, though. Um, all right, from here... Hmm. We're probably going to want to do Margo. I am actually going to glare the Espeon, because I'm pretty sure I can only... <laughs> Albert Einstein over here, that's right. I think I can only live one Psychic. If that... Okay. <laughs> Very glad the glare was able to pop off. Alright, I do recover a bit with leftovers. Um... Okay. Hmm. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use one of these precious max revives and I'm going to use it on Lucius. Um, because I don't think Red will try to use a full restore here. Ooh, fully paralyzed. Okay. Um, let me try to use... I'm gonna try to use Screech and Headbutt to see if I can kill it. If I... If it's fully paralyzed again... Nope. No such luck. That's okay. Good job, Margo. Um, and now we have Lucius. So we can use Shadow Ball. This should knock it out. Um, especially with its defense. It definitely will. Awesome. All right. Espeon down. Okay. Oh, also, love that Red has an Espeon. I just think that's super cool. Um... I always thought Blue should have an Umbreon for that reason, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, Snorlax. This is a big Pokemon for our boy, Rupert Grunt. This is why we kept him around. Um, okay. So now the big... I would love to outspeed, but we do. That's great. So we're going to try to get a defense drop here with Rock Smash. Okay. This is okay, um, because we're not going to try to use any special attacks on Snorlax. So he can raise his special defense all he wants. Um, but now that we got hit with a Body Slam, we should live one, I would think. Um, okay, great. And no paralysis. So, really wanted to show off Reversal. Reversal is a move that does more damage the lower HP you are. So I'm thinking from this range... Reversal should at least do a ton of damage to this Snorlax, if not kill it. Let's see. Very slowly? Come on! Oh. I thought that was going to do it, gang. Dang it. Okay. Alright, we're back to the drawing board. That's okay. No! I know, Brody. I know. I know. Um... So here's what I'm going to do. I am banking that Red is going to use a full restore here, so I'm going to try to use a sand attack. Oh, he didn't, actually. That's very interesting. Um, I would have loved to live that. Um, okay. So if Red is not going to use a full restore here, I am going to use... Um, who is left? Just uh, Snorlax and Blastoise. Um, I'm going to use a Max Revive again on Rupert, and this is kind of why you, you hold on to him. Um, ooh, misses the body slam. Um, let's... I'm using another one. I don't care. We are going all out. Um, I'm gonna use it on Margo, just because I love my girl. Okay. So. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm kind of worried that I will knock it into... Um, full restore range, but I don't care. Oh, critical hit. We're good. Guys, we're good. And we are guaranteed to win this fight now. And let me show you why. Um, Red only has his Blastoise remaining. So now, I'm going to send out my Lapras. Um, Brody, don't worry. The method I'm going to use is painless. It will happen very quickly. <laughs> so now that he only has Blastoise left, I'm going to use Whirlpool. This doesn't hurt at all. I wonder why his Blastoise and Charizard went for Whirlpool and Firespin. 
Um, but now that Blastoise is his only Pokemon left, I will use Parish Song. And Parish Song is a move that makes both Pokemon faint in three turns. But you can get rid of the effects if you swap out your Pokemon. However, since Blastoise is the only one left, he can't switch out. So Red is guaranteed to die in three turns. And Pampras should be able to resist some of these attacks. Um, it's okay if Pampras gets knocked out. Um, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Ooh, and we get the paralysis. Sorry to add a little bit of insult to injury there, Brody. Um, Parish, Parish count is down to two. Ah, uh, fully paralyzed. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Paris is down to one. And I don't think I can switch out because of the Whirlpool. But... This Surf will knock me out. Oh, it won't! Ah, uh, but the Whirlpool might. The Whirlpool does. But... Ah, uh, you know what? Margo gets to revel in the victory. The enemy Blastoise's Parish Count is zero. So then it faints. Ladies and gentlemen, we have defeated Pokemon Trainer Red. We have defeated ourselves. He still says nothing. disappears. I salute you, sir. And the credits roll once again. Um, this is just kind of like... This is it. This is pretty much it for Pokemon Crystal. Um, oh, and as you can see, I can speed it up within the game without actually speeding it up on my emulator, which is interesting. Um, this is pretty much it for Crystal. Um, you can catch Ho-Oh if you get Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. Uh, like I said, we're probably not going to do that in this playthrough unless we, like, revisit it in some, like, special bonus episodes later. But uh, when I stream next, I believe it's going to be on Monday, when I stream next, we're going to be starting a different game. I am really excited about it. Um, I think it's going to be great. And I'm probably going to do things a little bit differently with this next game because I understand that it's going to be... Oh, love that key change. I understand that it's going to be a little bit of a departure from the Pokemon stuff that I've done before. Um, but, oh, what is it, Brody? I'll go ahead and formally announce it. I have not, like, really said what I'm going to play, but I want to start a Game Boy Advance title, and it is a Yu-Gi-Oh game um, for any fans of Yu-Gi-Oh. It is called, it has a really long title. I played it so much growing up, um, and it really represents kind of like how I experienced Yu-Gi-Oh and what I loved as a kid. Um, so there's the end. And there we go. We're back in Mount Silver. I'm just going to pop a save real quick because I always do. Um, but, like I was saying, it is called Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel. No! Oh, Tech! Oh, what's up, dude? I literally just beat Red! <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Uh, it was a cool battle, though. It, don't worry. You can, uh, definitely watch it on YouTube later. Or, I mean, you can watch it on Twitch later once this stream ends. Um, but, uh, definitely watch it because it's uh it's really good awesome thank you buddy um but brody as i was saying it is like if anyone was familiar with the Yu-Gi-Oh anime it really follows like that battle city era um which i loved um those first two arcs of Yu-Gi-Oh are really the only Yu-Gi-Oh i ever watched um and i loved it so much and this game is so great because it's really like like, bare-bones classic Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and that was the only way that I ever played it um, growing up. And there are a few kind of, like, charming glitches with the game. It's really cool. I'm really, really glad to show it off. But 
I do understand that it's going to be a little bit more of a departure, a little bit more of like a niche thing. So I am going to start that game in conjunction with our next Pokemon game. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and I'm not going to say exactly what our next Pokemon game is going to be, but uh, I think you'll be able to guess um, based on what I've done so far. The shiny green one? I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to, you'll have to see. Um, but I'm really excited to do both. Um, I, because Brody, like you said, you've never heard of this Yu-Gi-Oh game. You know, obviously, I want to share the games that I love um, with this channel. That's kind of been my whole mission statement. And that is a game that I love, that not many people know, and I can really show it off to them. It's really fun showing games off like this that many, many people know and love. Um, but I want to try to mix in both, you know, when I can. Um, because... You know, I love Pokemon. It's like my favorite series ever, but there are plenty of other great, great, great video games that we can kind of share the joy of. Tech, I did fix my Discord. It should it should work now if you click on it. Um, I, yeah, I looked into that. And again, don't know what I'm doing, but if, like, people want to hop in there and uh, talk and discuss and commune to their heart's content, they are more than welcome to. Um, and I'll hop in too. I'll, I'll try to learn as we go. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Uh, we're going to start some Yu-Gi-Oh! We're going to start another Pokemon game, kind of in conjunction with it. Um, I'm really excited about that. And I have some other things planned that I'm not really... I'm going to try not to tease too much, because I'm still kind of like... Oh, thanks, Brody! I'm still kind of like working out the kinks on what I want to do um, after kind of this next little era here, and I'm really excited. I'm excited for the future um, of this little community that we're starting because I, someone, I'm kind of rambling here, but Crystal's done. I want to kind of talk about it a little bit. I was looking through some of my comments on YouTube and someone just said something to the effect of um, I really appreciate your joy for this game and it's a, a really it's really a reason why I'm enjoying watching your let's play and that just made me feel great because I just want to spread joy, man. I'm never going to be the most knowledgeable player. I'm never going to be the most whatever speedrunner, super challenge guy. Um, but I just want to share my joy with you all. So I was really happy. I was really happy to see that. Thank you, Tech. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Crystal is never done. You're right, man. Um, like I said, maybe, maybe one of these days we can come back and maybe finally get those, get Entei and Raikou and catch Hello. We might be able to do something like that. I don't know. Um, but for the immediate future, we're, we're gonna, we're probably gonna move on. Um, but guys, I am so happy to share my joy with you. I was really, really heartened to see that comment on one of my streams on YouTube and if you don't watch me on Twitch, but watch me on YouTube, thank you so much. I know I post tons of shorts, um, and I am really, really glad that y'all are enjoying them, and I'm excited for the future. So, awesome, awesome. Oh my gosh, thank you, Tech. You have made it feel so great. I named my Skarmory after you, man. Um, it's You have made me feel awesome. <laughs> Rock on, JJ. Thank you. Um, but with that, I will probably call it a day for today, and uh, I will see you all in the next chapter of the Silver Cave Gaming Journey. <laughs> but uh, thank you all very much. Appreciate you. Peace out, kids.